So I've been running a little bit of a small engine repair business on the side. Uh, it's been a good way to make a little extra cash and tinker around with engines a little bit. This is the second year I've done it. It seems in the spring there's a huge increase of people that come through leaving their engines and then midsummer it starts to taper off and we're getting closer to the fall so there's not as many machines to work on. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've done a video so I thought I'd throw this together. I've got three machines to work on today. An old tiller, a trimmer, and a lawnmower. So I've, I've fixed a few things for the guy who owns this tiller. Really nice guy, he takes care of his stuff. He said he was running this just regularly last week and it made a weird clinking noise and the engine just quit. And then he said he went to pull start it. Where's the pull start? And it was really easy to pull, as if it lost compression. Obviously that seems like uh, bad news. So going off my gut feeling, which is that the connecting rod is busted, all I want to do is check to see if the piston's moving. Because if it's not moving, then it'll be very clear early on that the rod's broken and it's not really worth getting into. But I don't want to take apart the engine to check it, so I'm going to pull the spark plug out and just stick a soft wooden pencil in there in the cylinder, give it a little pull. If the piston's moving, it should push the pencil. If not, uh, <laughs> it won't. gonna set the pencil in here. Obviously I could do this visually as well but this just makes it more obvious. Pencils in. Gonna give the engine a pull. And there it is. So it's confirmed the connecting rod is busted on this or something else that's causing the piston not to spin. Since the engine turns over okay I would suspect the crank is okay which leaves the connecting rod is the likely suspect. From a financial standpoint, it wouldn't make any sense to rebuild this engine for the owner. He might be interested in replacing the engine because the chassis is in really good condition. I'll just have to contact him and see what he's interested in doing. But uh, that finishes out this one. We're going to go with the lawnmower next. This is a beautiful Honda lawnmower from a first time customer with two known issues. One being the pull start doesn't retract and he said the engine just runs really poorly. So I'm gonna start with the pull start, see what's going on. Kind of an unusual problem, although it looks like it's just gummed up a little bit. <laughs> the handle's turning but the actual driver is not. Thank you, Harbor Freight. So yeah, it turns out the problem was this starter clutch screw here was just too tight so that things weren't retracting correctly. But now it's good to go. Now I can see what it means. It seems to not run really terribly, but the idle is just a little bit weird. So probably just a little bit of something clogging the main jet and the carburetor. I'll just pop it out really quick and see if that fixes it. Things are looking a little gummy even from the outside, so good cleaning is a good idea. I don't love using these lunch lady gloves, but I just ran out of my last pair of latex gloves. I'll have to go recharge those.
so you'll see the main jet is actually pretty clear and so is the emulsion tube. There are these little side holes and I'll make sure those are all clean but they're looking pretty good. But that's not the only thing to be cleaning out when you clean a carburetor. Especially with this style, a lot of people forget the pilot jet which is accessed through this bolt here. It's not easily removable like the main jet, so we're just going to clean it where it is along with the other, all the other passages through the carb throat all in there. Alright, finished cleaning up the carb. I got it all put back together and installed. I also put a little bit of oil on the easy start mechanism. It seemed to be a little bit choppy. So I'm just gonna get the air filter on, give it a pull, see what happens. So here's something interesting. When I started it, it didn't seem to be running great still. It was a little bit better, but not perfect. Looking closer at the air filter, you wouldn't think this is that dirty. It's a little gray and brown in there, but the fins are pretty clean, so I thought there's no way that would be a huge problem. But check out this comparison. I'm going to run this one first. This is what was on it. And then I'm going to run this cleaner one. Even though this one isn't clearly that dirty, it is dirty enough. If you, if you suspect that the air filter is bad, getting clogged, then run the engine without it in, and that should give you a clear picture. Anyway, this one's done. Let's uh, move to the trimmer. So the guy who gave me this string trimmer strongly suspected that it was just a carburetor issue. To be honest, he's probably right. 90% of the time with these things, that's it. He suspected so much so that he just went ahead and ordered a new one and asked me to install it. Um, so hopefully he's correct on his diagnosis. I don't love the Pullen Pro brand. Um, hopefully this one doesn't give me any issue. Looks like not only did he buy the right one, but he got the exact same name brand. Sweet. <laughs> 